Hey dudes, so White Soltis, back again with my next installment of Dungeon Sets 101. We're officially two-thirds of the way there, with six out of nine classes covered, only three remain. The Druid, Shaman, and Warlock. Since we've gotten this far, let's celebrate with what is most likely the most time-consuming set to collect. Shift into bear form, or bind that healing touch rank 4, because it's time to start collecting the Druid's dungeon set, the Wildheart Raiment. The Wildheart set contains 8 pieces and offers a total of 5 set bonuses, the only dungeon set to do so. This is due to the jack-of-all-trades nature of the Druid class. Like all of the dungeon set pieces, the items are scattered among the three main high-level instances, Stratholm, Skull Immense, and Blackrock Spire. And much like the Hunter set, you'll need to run LBRS to complete it. Here's a quick rundown of all the item's locations. So, that's where they are. Let's discuss how to get each of them as a druid now, shall we? To start with, hit up Stratholm Undead to try and pick up your Bracers and Kilt. As with many of the BOE pieces, the Bracers can drop from trash mobs, so there's not much to say about that. To get the legs though, you'll have to clear the entire dungeon. Just like all the set's legs, these drop from Baron Rivendare at the end. As a druid, you could potentially be rolling as a tank, DPS, or healer making it hard to give much advice on how to handle the fight. If tanking, keep the boss far away from the healer, basically right where he is standing when you enter the room. If healing, stand back and remember to cast Rejuvenation on melee DPS, who will likely be taking damage from the pulsing AoE aura. Also, consider using some Stratholm Holy Water to help kill some of the skeletons that will no doubt be attacking you and don't forget to buff thorns. Finally, if DPSing, kill skeletons and the boss. Pray to RN Jesus for your shiny kilt and move on. Similar to Stratholm, there's only two potential set pieces in Skullaments, the belt and the cowl. Both of these items drop toward the end of the dungeon as well so make your way through the entire instance until the final chamber. To get the belt, you'll need to kill the Ravinian in the bottom right room from where you enter. This fight isn't too challenging, but he does hit quite hard, so keep that in mind no matter what your role is. Also, there's a knockback that you should be aware of, especially if you're tanking. If you're lucky, you'll snag the belt from him and not have to buy it from the auction house later. And again, if you're not lucky, you can buy it from the auction house, so don't worry too much. Clear the rest of the rooms to spawn the final boss, Darkmaster Gandling. He is without a doubt the hardest boss in this instance, but as a druid, you have a big advantage over other classes here, your flexibility. Remember to decurse the tank, so long as you're not tanking, and be ready to adapt your role as needed during the teleport phases. Kill him, grab your feather hat, and move on to the next dungeon. Next up is the most annoying bit, in my opinion. To collect your boots and spalders, you'll need to run Lower Blackrock Spire. So expect to run this dungeon a lot. Also, it's worth noting that the belt can also drop from some of the trash here, so if you don't get it from Skull Immense, there's a chance you can collect it along the way. Also, try to complete your Seal of Ascension while running this dungeon as well. After all, if you end up running LBRS a bunch of times anyway, you might as well get the key to UBRS while you're at it. Anyway though, the boots are a drop from Mother Smolderweb a giant spider located in the latter half of the dungeon. She occasionally stuns her target and can poison your party members, rendering them immobile. But other than that, she's not too difficult to take down. 
Just keep in mind that, like the other spiders in this area, when she dies, spiders will spawn from her corpse. So don't be too hasty to check for your boots. Continue through the dungeon until you get to the giant warg, Hallison. This boss does not drop your shoulders, but you need to kill it in order to summon the boss that does, Gizrul the Slavener. This is the second last boss of the dungeon, and he has a nasty ability, Fatal Bite, which heals him for twice the damage that the ability deals. Burn him as fast as possible, and keep everyone, including yourself, alive. Grab your shoulder wings, finish up the dungeon, and move on to the final dungeon you have to run. Ah, the home stretch. You've cleared Strat, Skolo, and LBRS. Now it's time to take on the final challenge, Upper Black Rock Spire. There's only one piece to collect here, the vest from General Dracosath. So, clear the dungeon until the final boss, keeping an eye out for other useful drops along the way. When you face Dracosath, remember about his conflagration ability, but that's pretty much it. There's not much more to say about this fight for a druid, so pray to Aaron Jesus to get your chess piece when he falls. Congratulations on getting your druid to 60, and good luck collecting your dungeon set. The Wildheart Raiment is definitely one of the cooler looking sets in my opinion, but it's a chore and a half to collect compared to most of the others. But if you're willing to run Stratholme, Skullaments, Lower, and Upper Blackrock Spires into the ground, you'll definitely get it someday. But anyway, that's it for today. If you like this guide or found it useful, let me know by leaving a comment down below. Check out my written versions of this guide and others over on Blogspot, which is basically where I make all of the guides before I make videos here on YouTube. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter for updates about streaming, content releases, and more. And consider supporting me over on Patreon as well, if you're into that sort of thing. Thanks again for watching, and as always, take it easy guys.